have sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey team, it's Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Another game in ranked. Ranked is fun these days. You can get steel for it uh, while clan battles is down, and uh, it's pretty fun with the Drew on a map warrior's path. Before we begin, like, subscribe, bell button below. Appreciate all the support. As always, thanks for building community. And this video is actually about, hey, let's make a better community, right? So that's the focus of this, as well as we get to learn how to do any kind of tactics uh, in rank these days. So right off the bat, I'm doing what a destroyer is supposed to do. Go out and spot and uh, cap. And the RPF, I'll do a video about this, is very crucial in this aspect because I didn't realize how powerful knowing a location of your enemy would be. Uh, having RPF tell you where someone's at at all times is very, very crucial. Uh, my gearing's going off to get the heals, and that's actually the destroyer in question here about be a friendly teammate. And I'll be I'll be honest, caveat this video. Look, guys, we're having fun, okay? Go, calm down. It's just a game. We're having fun. We're coming together just like we're going to get together, play racquetball or basketball or whatever. We're having a blast, and we're just having a good time making good friends. No need to get all uh, riled up and being uh, mean and everything like that. We're trying to be a good good players here, right? Anyways, right off the bat, Regalo uh, shoots me. I outspot him, but unfortunately, I don't have any support, really, so I have to smoke up, disengage, and run away. Again, this is a good tactic right here, understanding, hey, you pick your battles. You get the, the, uh, the, the arm, what is it called? arms race cap point. We get the reload buff or whatever, and that's great. We disengage, don't need to waste and throw away HP un, uh, unwillingly or, uh, I guess it's pointlessly if that's a word, uh, and he goes and Regala smokes up. Nobody's spotting for him, therefore I can run away, disengage, and be undetected for the whole time. Regala's going to be in his smoke the whole time anyway, so he's going to run away. He has nothing he can do, and he can't spot anybody while he's in his smoke. So we're going to go ahead and move to the south and help out either our Burgoyne and Cecilia, all while we're thinking about shooting the Schlieff, and unfortunately he's got better secondaries than anybody else in the game. So I don't want to take unnecessary damage from him, especially as the range is about 12, I believe 12 and a half uh, for the secondaries. So we're still within range. We got a nice radar there, so we're going to go ahead and I think we'll open up and get some damage. Yep, he got enough damage down, and we can do uh, fire our improved AP now into a superstructure, all while spotting for the rest of our team and also drawing fire. So good destroyer wants to draw fire, spot, shoot, torp, kill, whatever you can do. Uh, Druid doesn't have any torps, so unfortunately I'm gonna have to rely on guns. So we're gonna see what we can do here. We're drawing fire from Regala, we're drawing fire from Yamato, who is a secondary build, I believe, because he's reaching out to us. There's no other battleship in here that has, that's in within our range that can shoot secondaries, right? That's incredible. Must be the Yamato's <laughs> secondary build. I wouldn't recommend that, but okay, whatever. Uh, we're gonna see if we can get as much of this nice AP into the side of this Schlieffen and take him down. Again, he is giving us way too much uh, side and cheek for us to take. So we're gonna hold the center here. Druid's pretty good for nosing in and backing up and using smoke. We're gonna disengage right here. We're taking too much damage. And yep, that is a Yamato secondary build. Incredible, I like it. I support secondary and brawling, but uh, Unfortunately, he's not going to do too well for him. Nobody's spotting for him, so we're going to go ahead and back up, disengage, and reverse. And we're just going to hold and see what we can uh, shoot and wither way down. Now, I have to do, I have to keep my eye on the western flank, uh, how that we got their battleship. And see how that RPF indicator moved right there? That means he's the closest. I believe that's the St. Vincent. I do not want to be caught in a pushing St. Vincent, but let's see if we can take a little bit more off this Yamato before we disengage and regroup to the south. Notice my entire team has now gone behind me. And uh, I guess we're the front line again. So uh, anyways, we're spotted again by probably the Regalo. So we're going to go ahead and disengage and uh, try to reposition uh, while we're taking as much damage. Yamato takes a nice shot at us. I can't believe that. He took a shot and takes a hit on us. And we have to really get out of dodge right here. Now I'm going to have to stop shooting, go uh, undetected, and go quiet. Meanwhile, uh, the rest of our team is holding the caps to the southeast. I've got the St. Vincent here. Uh, on my left and I got the regalo in front so we at least know where the rest of their ships are at and I have to make sure I go undetected there are the torpedoes from regalo he's got that sap shells if I angle in all the sap shells will de-deflect it off of me and when you got the Shima that's who was spotting me Shima was out on our flank that means we have to do our job as a destroyer player to go hunt the destroyer now here's the problem with me I am 6.5 concealment or 6.6 .6 concealment the shima outspots me by 5.6 so he's got at least uh, one click ahead of me so that's a very very difficult situation we got we got rpf at least we know where he's at Burgon dodges a in entire broadside of torpedoes which would have been totally deadly for him and uh we're gonna have to run anyways i gotta run to the south anyways because we don't want to deal with the saint vincent regalo we're gonna go ahead and push towards the shima 
If the Shimo is smart, he would stay out in the flanks and keep torping. So that's what I'm thinking he's doing. I don't think he would sit in his smoke screen. Puerto Rico goes down, way to go, gearing. Um, but that's my last compliment for the gearing for the rest of the game. Uh, he's probably going to be uh, pretty upset later. I mean, again, calm down. It's just a game. We're doing our job. So as the destroyer players, we're out in the fronts. We're spotting for everybody. We're keeping the destroyers up at bay, and we're also making sure we provide any kind of damage uh, output that we can. I've got the RPF located in front of me. Again, this is exactly why, and I'll do a video on RPF, of how with multiple dis kind of just types of destroyers out there, you can use RPF. It is such a game changer, and I didn't realize that. Um, I would probably now, looking at it, take RPF over uh, gun reload because... You know, it really is a intelligence source that gives so much situational awareness on the battlefield. And I think that is a very key component because what good are you? What good are your guns if you're dead, right? So why not know where the enemy's at so that you can make a better uh, decision all while maneuvering and getting into a good hold position as well as reattack as well. So we're gonna go ahead and I know I'm gonna get detected again right here. Yep. Out of the smoke, that means he's within 6.6 .6 of us, and I know that he is probably driving away. So let's see if we can get undetected, use his smoke screen. And, ooh, we t I knew the same man was going to shoot at me. So, hey, we're drawing fire. He wasted a shot on us. Instead of our Burgundian, we get an extra free shot or free, what, 10 or 15, or whatever the reload of the St. Vincent is, that free buffer time that the Burgundian can use this to his advantage to kill. Now we're going to disengage the Shima for a second and see if we can, ooh, he gets a nice shot on the St. Vincent, therefore we're going to help our buddy out. Helping your teammates is crucial. So we're going to shoot as much as we can into his side, take as much AP off as we can so we can kill him fast enough, come on, kill him, and way to go, teamwork right there. Still spotted. Uh, out in the distance, obviously, we just shot, so our plume is out to 12.1. I'm going to fast-forward this. We're going to chase him the whole way. As the RPF is changing, I just changed the ship. I'm also keeping in mind that he has torpedoes. Hydro is up, making sure I don't get surprised. Again, and then he, the, my gearing says we need to cap. Actually, you guys are in the cap, so it's okay. The cap points notice at the top are not ticking up, so we're fine. Calm down. Cecilia's in the cap. They can't win that so far. He's got more HP than Regalo. I know the Regalo probably is not going to go and try to rush uh, our battleship, so I'm going to use my energy and do my job and keep the Shima at bay. So he goes spotted right here. Great. Look at that. I spotted a destroyer and trying to kill him and keeping him run away rather than giving him free lunch to try to torpor Cecilia which Cecilia will definitely be a very appreciative of that. So we're going to go hunt this guy down. He keeps the enemy at bay so he doesn't just go on willy-nilly, free torpin as always. And again, it changes the game because the Shima is now not rushing into the cap and getting free torps and causing fear in our teammates. Gearing goes down from the Shima, from the torpedoes. And now we're going to try to cut. Now, I, I think the Shima goes around the corner. Yep, based on the torpedoes hits right there, he, he goes around the corner. Before I'm going to go back into the cap. And again, worthy of a report. But I'm getting reported by the uh, gearing. Say, okay, go ahead. Report me. What's that going to do? Nothing. I'm going to win the game for you right here, okay? So um, right now, Cecilia's capping in the center, which is great. He At least he's holding it so that it doesn't go up. I'm going to go back. I know where the Shima is. And there goes the RPF. It's situational awareness. Very key component because now it gives me the ability to make an educated decision and guess as to where I need to position my ship to be in the most effective position and most effective manner to employ weapons. So here we go. He's probably going to pop out right in front of me. Yep, there he is. Now give me some broadside. He doesn't know where I'm at. I'm going to go ahead and put all this AP into his broadside and take him out of the game. One destroyer taking out two destroyers. That is a good trade in my part right there. He goes down. We get the buff. Great job, Cecilia. He goes down. We now have a two and one advantage. Uh, gearing sounds pretty silly right now, doesn't it? Because look, you have to think about the overall game. It's not about who caps first and whatever. It's about who can survive the longest to then eventually hold the caps at the end of the game and survive. And I think he even mentioned that at the beginning. Gearing, you did a great job saying you outlast the rest of the team and then uh, you survive in the long run so you can survive the, the long haul of the battle which is exactly what I'm doing, what you told me to do, right? Now I know where the Shima's coming around this corner with RPF. It is such a great tool, and now the rest is history. But anyways, hope you guys liked the video. Let me know your thoughts. I mean, should the community, I don't know if everybody's stressed out these days, but just calm down. It's a game. We're here to build friendships and community. I'm not dogging the gearing in the sense of he's a bad person. I'm just saying maybe you're just going through something we didn't know. We take out the Shima just like they wanted, and I win the game for you, and we dodge the torpedoes right there. Anyways, as always, hope you guys are doing well. Let's build a better community. Let's have a good time. And as always, say hi when you see me out there. Take care. Cheers.